Good morning world from the row row boat. Oh, that was a mission to get on here wasn't it? Yeah we are on the car boat today. It's very confusing how to get a ticket for a car boat let me just say that. <laughs> it is a beautiful day here in Surigao city. We are heading back to Shargao Island today on the Montenegro shipping line. There's Biddy right there sitting on the boat with us. We're finally taking him back home. So you drive in this little section here, park the car on the boat down there, you have to really squeeze them in. And then you walk up these steps here with your ticket. Let's go. And then this is what you first see. This is the first deck. It is massive. Look how many seating areas they've got here for people. They've got a little bar at the back here. They've got comfort rooms or toilets over here, male and female. There's like an executive air conditioned room here, but it's all locked up. Up is here for the staff only. They've got their clothes drying on a line. That's where the pilot or the captain drives the boat. Give you an idea of the size of the boat. It's the same size as this one that we're docked up next to. Story is doing some drawing, keeping herself occupied. A drawing for Teach Bowie's birthday. Oh, it's Teacher Bowley's birthday today, yeah? yeah? So you're doing a little gift for him, yeah? Yes, a gift. Do you know what it's going to be? What you're going to draw him? Bridge. Yeah. Jangle Jan and Seal. Yeah. And the bum. Yeah. And the dad. Okay. Nice. So they're all standing on a bridge, yeah? All right. Little Eden came with us in spirit, didn't you, Eden? <laughs> story insisted that we bring Eden with us on this trip. She made it, Story. She came here and all the way back. Now she's going home. Look at that little dude. He just popped back into the door inside the boat. It makes you see the scale of it though, how small you are on the size of the boat. That must be one of the sleeper cabin boats. There they've got all the curtains down. Yeah. I did see actually when we were at the port, you can get a Starlight ferry from Surigao to Cebu. Okay. Yeah, one of the Roros, so that would be the way. It's probably about eight hours. I don't know. I have to look it up. So if you're thinking about shipping your own car over to Shargao Island from Surigao, it costs 4,500 pesos to send a vehicle of car size. And then you have to pay for the passengers on top. So I go with the car, uh, but Sasha's ticket was about 180 and Story went for free. I also had to pay a 150 peso terminal fee, which is a lot more than what you normally pay if you're just a passenger, but it's because the vehicle's with you. I'm really glad that we did this trip with the car because now I'm starting to understand how boat travel with a vehicle works. There's so many different islands out there to explore and this just kind of opens the door to that. This is the view from the top deck. Can you imagine if you had to sit out here the whole way? You'd burn up. That's the pilot house there. The story decided she just wanted to draw a porcupine. Yeah, I told you they've got a little nose, don't they? Oh, she wanted to know if porcupines have tails. Oh, I see. Look at that one, that looks like a mouse. It does, yeah. It's got a long tail. That one looks funny. Nick, <laughs> she's already begun drawing one. <laughs> this is what the air-conditioned room looks like. I don't know how you get access to this place. So when we book a passenger boat over to Surigao, it's easy. We go online, there's a website called barcota.com and we just book a passenger ticket, no problem. When you want to try and bring a car over here, it's a completely different story. You kind of need to know somebody who works on the boat. So I actually rung a couple of friends and they rung their friends that had resorts over on Shargao Island and they gave us the phone number of somebody who works on board who might be able to get us in. And then he had to call the captain of the boat to find out if there was space for me. And then we had to come like an hour and a half early to see if they could fit the Corolla onto the boat. So you have to go through a fair process. You can't just go to the ticket office and ask them. I tried that yesterday and the lady said she would call me back and she never did. So I could have been doing that every day and they'd always be fully booked. So it is a bit confusing and maybe this is just the case on this shipping line over to Shargao but it does help to get phone numbers of people that have influence otherwise travel can be difficult. So I'm not sure when they're going to close the door but it looks like we're getting full up on the vehicle front. There's one little slot here which they're probably reserving for some motorbikes but they've got two big trucks here. 
This is the canteen price list. You can see how much they've got for sale here. You can choose all your stuff here, buy it from this guy. Hey, nice to meet you. Thank <laughs> you. Lots of friendly people on the boat. I'm just gonna go and see what the car section looks like. There we go, we're all full up. There's the car there, and it's all full. All the way down to the back. They even tie up the loads here to make sure they don't fall over. That's clever. It must take a lot of work. All right, looks like we're about to leave finally. We've been here for ages. We boarded the boat about quarter to nine. It's now about five past 11, so it takes that long just to leave. So very, very slow. <laughs> and we're gonna be on this boat probably for three and a half, four hours. So it's definitely a lot slower than the fast craft we usually take, which looks a bit like one of those. But at least we're on the move. Heading back home. Goodbye, Suriga City, mainland Mindanao. Until next time. I have noticed that you are actually allowed to stay inside your vehicle. There's a couple of people in their vans there doing their, watching their videos and stuff. And there's a little fast boat blasting off into the distance. Whoa, that's super fast. Imagine if it was a job to repair this rust. Can you see this? So much work. <laughs> Sasha and I were saying that to justify the cost of coming here in the car, we would need to spend at least 10 days to 14 days because renting a car would cost a lot more than that. So the next time we come over with the car, we will definitely be doing a longer trip. I know. <laughs> it's going to go faster than this, don't worry. It will speed up. <laughs> Look at the time again. We're departing at 11.11. <laughs> Look at the colour of that sand. We were just saying, I wonder how you get to these beaches. Looks like there's a couple of tents up there in blue. Don't even know the names of these islands. But if you had little boats, you'd have that all to yourself. because even though this car has been away for a whole month getting repaired you can still come across so many little problems just before we boarded the boat one of the pipes popped off of the intake and the car was really stalling the whole way here and it was really really difficult to drive and I'm just like using the time now I'm on this boat for three and a half hours to try and see if I can fix little bits I always carry tools and little bits and pieces inside the car just in case this happens and I think because it's an old vehicle we're always going to be doing this we've had a few upgrades here in the engine bay this new intake and just behind it this pipe is the problem maker Have a look. 
little bit of trash here. Yeah. It took almost exactly four hours to get back, but we were on the boat a couple of hours before, so we've been on this chunk of metal for about six hours. I'm glad to be back. Chunk of metal. Chunk of metal, yeah. <laughs> Quick, quick. picking up the butch. There's the boat we just came from. I remember saying goodbye to that boat with Biddy on it over a month ago now. It's actually tied up on a string. Is it tied up on a string? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna stay there for a few hours I think. Look, the boat is gonna stay there all day. And I'm excited to go home. Yeah, me too. Maybe then giraffe. And look, sorry, look what we bought. It's camping stuff! Camping stuff! Yeah, we can try it out. Not tonight, but maybe another day, okay? But maybe we just have a camping tent. Camping tent! Yeah. Look at that big butch nose in the uh, rear view camera story. Where? <laughs> there, look, in the TV. Our little TV rear view mirror. You see the butch nose? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really big. He's <laughs> saying hello! Central locking. Hello goats in the sun. You look like you're being spotlit. Hello seaside. Hello low tide. It smells like seaweed out here. I picked this up at the hardware store. A little outdoor table. Which will probably go nicely outside this house. Well I hope you enjoyed our journey over to Surigao. New adventure. And we will see you in the next vlog. Bye.